Let's take our Bibles to Matthew chapter number 13, and uh, we're going to look at another of Jesus' parables. Like I told you yesterday, there's just really a series of them, and some of them may explain, some of them don't need a lot of explanation. Uh, today we're going to read about the tares among wheat in Matthew 13, verse number 24. Uh, and I'm going to give you in the give you the other verses that will uh, help explain that, help you understand where how I come to the conclusions that I come to. And so in Matthew 13, 24, says, Another parable he put forth uh, unto them, saying, uh, The kingdom of heaven is likened also to a man which sowed good seed in his field, but while men slept, the enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. Uh, but when uh, he uh, the blade was spring up and, and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also, uh, so that the servant, the house, and the householder, uh, came and said unto him, Sir, didst thou not sow good seed in the field? Uh, from whence then hath it tares? He said unto them, An enemy hath done this. The servant said unto him, uh, Wilt thou that we go and gather them up? Uh, but he said, Nay, lest while ye gather the, up the tares, ye root up also the wheat with them. Let both grow together until the harvest, and in the time of the harvest, I will say unto the reapers, gather uh, ye also, gather ye together the tares and bind them in bundles and burn them, but gather the wheat into my barn. Kind of a, a scary parable because he says, this is what my kingdom is like. This is what my earthly situation is. My church is going to be filled with fake believers growing right in with the real ones. And the interesting thing about a tear is a tear looks like wheat until harvest. And so you, you the, the trained eye can detect the difference between the two. Uh, but really, the problem is, is that they grow right there in them. And so if you were to pull up the tear and to throw it away, the wheat would also have its root bed disturbed and then the fruit would be lost. And so uh, uh, God, uh, the householder in this parable tells him, leave it until the end and we'll bundle it together and we'll use it to light the night so we can harvest into the night. And so it must have been uh, an incredible amount of it. Uh, maybe you've had this situation where you bought grass seed and then that grass seed, because it was the cheap stuff, ended up bringing weeds into your yard. Well, that's kind of what he's talking about here. He's growing a crop of wheat, yet there are weeds sown right in with them and, and this particular kind of weed is the actual fake wheat. That's what it is. It even has the little kernel. The difference is the kernel is empty. There's no wheat inside. And, and so it's really hard uh, to detect which is which, and it's really hard to get them out. And so, so here's the question that, that I believe Jesus is posing here, is that there are fake Christians and there are real Christians growing together within the church family, or at least within the claim of being a believer. And so I think what he's posing to each person is, which one are you? Are you a real believer? Or are you a fake one? Because he already knows the difference between the two. We just have, we just may not know the difference ourselves. And obviously you can tell by the fruit but that would require a little bit of effort. That would require some fruit inspection. And so, so I want to encourage you today to ask yourself, am I actually a true follower of the Lord or am I just a person who claims to be? Because a claim is not the same as being. Uh, we can claim a lot of things. And so I want to encourage you with that today. Jesus says they're growing in amongst his church family. Uh, and he says that, that he's not going to root them out until the end. But the, the imagery is pretty intense where if you look at the description or the explanation in verses 36 through uh, 40, what is it, 43, you'll find that, that there's some pretty vivid uh pictures there of the angels pulling out the the good from the bad and using and the bad is all burned with fire which indicates that there's going to be a casting of the bad into hell so your claim won't bring you into the kingdom and so be aware of whether or not you're a real believer or a fake follower of christ because the difference in the end is extreme have a great day